Topiary is a tool for prototyping location-enhanced applications. It lets designers create a map that models the location of people, places, and things, use this active map to demonstrate scenarios depicting location contexts, use these scenarios in creating storyboards that describe interaction sequences, and then run these storyboards on mobile devices with a wizard updating the location of people and things on a separate device. We will demonstrate these features by showing how a designer would mock up a mobile tour guide for Bob, a tourist visiting a college campus. The designer starts by using the Active Map workspace to create a model of the campus. He first imports an image of the campus map as the background. Then he draws some roads on the map. The designer uses the Place tool to outline the boundaries of several places of interest on campus. He can type in a name for each place he creates. Next, the designer uses the Person tool and adds five people. Then the designer selects the Thing tool and uses it to create two buses. The designer wants the tour guide to show different information depending on where Bob is. To do this, the designer first uses the Scenario Producer tool to capture a scenario of Bob in the bookstore. Dropping the recording window brings up a dialog box that displays the entities that were inside of the window, as well as a list of location contexts of these entities. The designer can resize the window to include or exclude entities. The designer chooses which contexts he does not want by unchecking them. Unchecking an entity removes all contexts associated with it. Captured scenarios are saved in the scenario repository as a yellow label. Then, the designer goes to the storyboard workspace to create interface mockups of the tour guide. He first creates a page by drawing a rectangle on the canvas. A page is a single screen that end users can see and interact with. The designer draws a line starting from Get Info to the bookstore page. This creates an explicit link. Explicit links are denoted in blue and represent buttons or hyperlinks that users can click on. Dragging the scenario to this link makes the link work only if the scenario Bob is in bookstore is true. Then, the designer adds the page and link for the library. Instead of capturing a new scenario, he copies the existing scenario by dragging it to the new link while holding the control key. Then he opens the scenario detailed view and customizes it by replacing the bookstore with the library. After creating a few mockups, the designer wants to try out his design. To do this, he opens a pie menu on a page and chooses Test to start running the design from that page. A separate wizard UI opens with four regions. In the bottom left corner is a copy of the End User UI, which shows what a user would actually see. On the top side is a copy of the active map workspace. This represents the current location of people and things. In the upper right corner is a radar view of the map area. On the bottom is a view of the storyboard workspace for analyzing page transitions. The designer can update the location of people and things by dragging them around. For example, when Bob is in the library, clicking Get Info will show the library page. When Bob is in the bookstore, clicking Get Info will show the bookstore page. Now the designer wants to automatically show a page when Bob's friends move nearby. To prototype this feature, he goes to the Active Map workspace. He defines what near means by dragging Bob's proximity handle to set a proximity region. Then, the designer uses the Scenario Producer tool to capture the scenario Alice moves near Bob. Dragging Alice into Bob's proximity region changes the context from Alice is far from Bob to Alice moves near Bob. The designer goes back to the storyboard workspace and adds a page for showing friends. He draws a line starting from an empty area of the welcome page to the friends page. This creates an implicit link. Implicit links are denoted in green and represent a transition that automatically takes place and the scenarios associated with that link occur. Here, the link specifies that the Friends page should automatically be shown when Alice moves near Bob. In a test, 
moving Alice into Bob's proximity region triggers the transition to the friends page. Now, the designer wants to show the friends page when any person moves near Bob. To do this, the designer opens the scenario detail view and replaces Alice with any person. This will abstract the scenario for any person moving near Bob. Topiary also provides five built-in components for displaying spatial and temporal information. The designer wants to show a list of friends in the friends page. To do this, he picks the nearest entities component and adds it to the page. The designer selects which people are Bob's friends and then chooses to show the name, location, and distance of the three who are nearest to Bob. Topiary allows designers to set up a mapping from the pixel distance to any physical measurements. The designer wants to show a map which can indicate the current location of people and things. He adds the active map component to the page. The dialog box shows a view of the active map workspace. The designer can choose to show a fixed region or a region around an entity. Then the designer wants to show Bob a way to the parking lot when Bob clicks it on the map. To do this, he first creates a link overlapping the parking lot on the map. Then he adds another map. This time, the designer chooses to show a 200-foot square around Bob. Then he adds a path by picking Bob as the starting point and the parking lot as the end point. This path will be automatically updated based on Bob's location on the active map. Then, the designer tests the design again. Now the designer has finished his mock-up and he wants to try it out with a real end user to get feedback. To do this, he starts the end user UI on a PDA. Once the end user UI has established a network connection with the wizard UI on the other device, the PDA can be handed to a real end user. The designer can update the end user's location using the wizard UI, which will activate any implicit links that are valid. The end user can interact with the mockup by clicking on links on the PDA. The designer can analyze a design by recording and replaying a test. Topiary can also help designers catch conflicts during design. When multiple scenarios in a link cannot be satisfied simultaneously, the link can never be activated. Topiary turns the link red and prompts the designer to resolve it. If two links with the same scenarios originate from the same source, it is ambiguous which link should be activated. Topiary indicates the ambiguity by turning the links red. Once the conflicts are resolved, Topiary returns them to the normal color. Topiary allows designers to quickly design, prototype, and test a location-enhanced application without requiring them to implement the application or deploy a supporting infrastructure, enabling them to get early feedback about their design before actually building and deploying the application.